Alex and Summer, the truth is 30 minutes from now, you're going to forget 99% of what I'm about to say to you. Out of it, I'm going to give you just two things, if you would, to remember. Very simple instructions. Ready? Remember and be thankful. Remember what God has done and give thanks for the way that he has guided your lives up to this point. Leave my thoughts on the table Set my keys by the door All these fortune and fate I don't think they need us no more So there comes a moment in everyone's life where you meet your person, uh, your soulmate, the person that you love more than anything else in the world that you're going to spend the rest of your life with. And for Summer, that time came about 10 years ago when she met me. <laughs> Were you by yourself, dressed like an angel in white on the way? Can you be like a drone, straight from a song that I've known all along? But the truth is, is that every single person here today is better for knowing you. You love so deeply, selflessly, and unconditionally. And I know without a doubt that Alex is your person because I've seen him effortlessly and consistently mirror those traits to you every single day. Alex has just been a constant friend. He's been there in some of my awesome moments, some of my lowest moments, but he's just been so consistent. I'm um, such a loving, kind friend. It's just one of the awesome things about Alex is just how generous and selfless he is. And it's awesome to see two awesome individuals um, in and of themselves coming together to create something even stronger. Wow. You do. Now it's starting to get real. This is actually going to happen. So, Marion are off today. So, you, know, you, know, the, you always get asked, when did it hit you? And it hit me today when she was saying her vows. It wasn't when you were walking out there. Um, so, Alex, uh, I will just say one thing is you did it the right way. I know some of you have seen the book, 20 pages of pictures showing them as they're growing up and, and their time together. And then the last page was, here's my number. I have a question to ask you to either say yes or yes. So you, um, so you definitely did it the right way. Wait, can I look? <laughs> yes, you can look. Oh, um. I love you. Thank you. Are you starting to cry? <laughs> I don't cry. Can I give you a hug? Yeah. I don't know. You're, you're blind. <laughs> how do you feel? Huh? I said, how do you feel? Um, now a little more nervous. <laughs> I love you, Paul. Marriage is just a microcosm of the way that we live together as Christians within a church. It means that everything that we're supposed to do, love one another, be patient with one another, practice forgiveness, offer grace to one another, bear one another's burdens, all those things, you, you condense them into one household and you do it every single day. I planned your life after you were going to graduate with your math degree, then you're going to move to Wichita and work in the aerospace industry. It's a good thing God has a plan that's actually more important than ours because that's where you met Alex and that's where we got to this point. Today, I'm nudging you. And I'm encouraging you to start nudging one another that when you get your eyes fixed on worldly things, you get to nudge each other and say, look up. God has surrounded you with goodness and it starts with each other. Alex, do you vow today your faith and love to Summer as your lawfully wedded wife to love her, comfort her, honor and keep her, forsaking all others, and to keep yourself only to her so long as you both shall live. I do. Summer, do 
you today vow your faith and love to Alex as your lawfully wedded husband, in sickness and in health, for richer and for poorer, forsaking all others, and to keep yourself only to him so long as you shall both live. I do. Alex and Summer, it is my joy and privilege to declare you husband and wife. Alex, you may kiss your bride. <laughs> Friends and family, it's my pleasure to introduce to you for the first time, Mr. and Mrs. Jackson. that you are prepared for the many Mario Kart mattresses in the living room, Chick-fil-A kind of moments, because those are the things that are now going to fill your heart, increase your joy, and enhance your life just as they did mine for so many years. Summer's an amazing person. Um, she's very kind, she's very kind already. She's selfless. What I love about her, she's so competitive, she's very passionate. She's someone that I want on my team. She's also someone that'll keep you in check. Alex, I know you're gonna cherish Summer for the rest of your days. Just to reiterate the advice the security guard for the church gave you several months into your engagement. I think Summer likes you. You should ask her out. <laughs> driver <laughs> and who is most stubborn <laughs> and last but not least who do you love most in the entire world there you go ladies and gentlemen a little bit more for your bride and groom Get together with old friends from university or for high school you sit down and tell stories because that remembering binds you together it reminds you that you belong to one another and help us remember all the places that god has led us together <laughs> 